Nestle provides you with tastier and healthier everyday choices to enhance your quality of life. Nestle, good food, good life. An important aspect of the success of bariatric surgery is nutrition, both before and after the procedure. But for most of us who go online or open a magazine, there are so many nutritional buzzwords these days. Phytonutrients, antioxidants, pharmaconutrition, and we're all just a little lost and confused about what these words actually mean. Well, Nestle brings you information to help you make tastier and healthier choices and explain the latest trends in nutrition. Today, we're specifically looking at superfoods and nutraceuticals, helping us make sense of and understanding what superfoods actually are. I'm joined by dietitian Rowena Fasahi and Dr. David Nye, who is a medical practitioner and an integrative med medicine specialist. That's right. Welcome, guys. Thank so you. what's the difference between a superfood and a nutraceutical? Um, I think the important thing, first important thing to note is that they're not quite the same thing, as you said. Yes. Um, a superfood is a food with a high nutrient or phytochemical content that can... Um, potentially help promote health. And then a nutraceutical is a component of food or part of a food and that has medical health benefits. So for example, like an onion would be a superfood. Yeah. And a nutraceutical would be like an extract of? Nutraceuticals often are products that are made with extracts of foods. So you get a whole lot of sort of natural supplements which have the benefits of a lot of those foods. And uh, as opposed to synthetic vitamins and minerals, which don't have as good an effect on the body, the natural ones which are extracted from foods, whether it's animal, from oil or plants, uh, really work fantastically. So what are examples of superfoods or nutraceuticals? Um, well, we've got one example here, some blueberries. Um, they've got a very high vitamin C and potassium content. They also have a low glycemic index, so it can actually help to stabilise blood sugar levels in that way. They're packed full of antioxidants, which help to fight cancer, um, and then have, an, have anti-inflammatory properties as well. So they've got a whole lot of um, properties that can actually help prevent disease and promote overall health. Blueberry is very good for you, a superfood. Yes, absolutely. Yes, yes. I think a lot of superfoods are also very common foods, which don't have to be the expensive, exclusive types of foods, yes. like uh, goji berries and that sort of thing. Things like pilchards, mm. onions, garlic ginger, um, beans, lentils, all the legumes are, are so valuable as superfoods. They have wonderful properties for health and uh, are certainly affordable by everybody. So for example, what are the benefits of pilchards? Pilchards, like all other oily fish, like sardines and salmon, have uh, omega-3 oils in them, which are very valuable to the body for cardiovascular health, mm. helping the heart, helping the brain. Uh, they help kids to concentrate better. Uh, so they really are, are essential for everybody. So with kids with ADHD, um, yes. eating oily, oily fish would Very be good. Very important. And if you can't get the kids to eat the fish, then you get them the nutraceutical, which has got the extract of the oil. So Dr. Nye, do you need a prescription for a nutraceutical? No, that's one of the big advantages, is that they can be bought over the counter in a health shop or in a supermarket, and uh, they're readily available. So are you going to help us actually make a smoothie comprising different <laughs> superfoods? Yes, absolutely. Let's go. Yeah. I'm so excited. We've got some nice sort of ingredients that you could have, would have at home and good idea to keep stock in your cupboard at home. So we're going to add a bit of ice, make it nice and cold, some milk. What's the name of this smoothie? It's just a super, super food smoothie. <laughs> okay, let's call it the doctor's order smoothie. How about Sounds that? good. Okay, I'm patenting that, okay? Perfect. So you take ice, you take milk and banana and you blend it together. What do you do next? Absolutely. So then we um, add half a teaspoon of cacao, which is different to the normal cocoa that you'll have in your cupboards at home. But what's the difference between cocoa and cacao? Cacao is actually the natural cocoa from the cocoa plant before it's been refined and processed. So it has much more health benefits. Yeah, it doesn't be, have all the goodness extracted from mm -hmm. it. Okay, Perfect. next up. Then we'll add some goji berries. Goji berries, which are good for energy? Um, they've just got a very high antioxidant and phytochemical content, so it can have that, that role in um, preventing disease and promoting overall health. And then we've got some um, flaxseed, um, linseed. All right. And then some cashew nuts. I love cashews. Yeah, they're very nice. And then just a little bit of honey. Just for some sweetness. Honey, which is great for everything. Yes. Okay, so then we're going to blend all of that together. And then you've 
for a delicious superfood smoothie. Is it just for me? It's just for me. Yes, especially right, for you. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, thank you. Mm. That's absolutely amazing, Rowena, amazing. I'm not going to share with you, Dr. Matt. It's all for me. I'm going to carry on sipping on this, but I think we all have a much better understanding of what superfoods and nutraceuticals are. Thank you so much, Rowena and David, for joining us and sharing your expertise. You're very welcome. After the break, we find out what cholesterol and the Comrades Marathon have in common, and we see if we can find a cure for that itch that makes every day a bad hair day. Nestle. Good food, good life.